The Complete Blood Count, or CBC, is a blood panel used to monitor a patient's red blood cell counts and detect abnormalities such as anemia, leukemia, and infections. The CBC is comprised of lab values for white blood cells, hemoglobin, hematocrit, and platelet counts. However, these values are not normally presented inside a table, but instead as a diagram with two crisscrossing lines, sort of like a cross. The four CBC values are interspersed within these two lines. It can be confusing to remember the order in which these CBC lab values are written. So in this video, I'll give you my visual mnemonic to help you remember them. It's a big day in the strongman competition, where we're gearing up for the signature event, the lifting of a giant weight onto that table. Yeah, we're talking about that folding table there. It's a folding table, and it kind of looks like a cross, doesn't it? By the way, this crisscross table is here to help us remember the cross-shaped diagram often used to present blood counts. A crisscross table for a crisscross diagram, right? On a typical CBC, you'll see a cross that looks like this. Don't worry so much about which lab value goes where yet. We'll get to that in a sec. Now notice who's competing. Yep, it's He-Man. If you're not already familiar with He-Man, he's an iconic superhero with superhuman strength, superhuman speed, and indestructible skin. Yeah, He-Man possesses some impressive strength for a comic book superhero, and he satisfies his vanity, of course, by participating in strongman competitions. Our He-Man standing over this table is here to help you peg the lab hemoglobin. You know, He-Man for hemoglobin. And just like how He-Man is leaning over this table, hemoglobin is the value on top of this diagram. As you probably already remember from school, hemoglobin is an oxygen-carrying metalloprotein found in red blood cells. Because it's found in red blood cells, changes in hemoglobin are more or less interpreted as changes in red blood cell counts. That is, if hemoglobin levels are low, then your patient might have some sort of anemia or blood loss. In men, the normal range for hemoglobin ranges between 13.5 to 17.5 grams per deciliter. In women, the normal range is about 12 to 15. Don't worry so much about these exact numbers for now. Instead, just know that our He-Man is towering over the table to remind you that hemoglobin goes on top of the cross-shaped diagram. Next, take a look at what He-Man's holding inside his right hand. Yep, it's a white atlas ball, and it looks really heavy. Yeah, these concrete atlas balls are what strongmen have to lift on top of the table. <gasps> Anyways, it's taking all our He-Man's strength to lift this ball of concrete. This white atlas ball should help you remember the white blood cell count. You know, since we're talking about round white objects here. And the white blood cell count, also called the WBC, is the second lab value inside this table, found on the left side. Generally speaking, white blood cell counts include cells like neutrophils and lymphocytes, which are integral to the host immune response and help in fighting off infection. The normal range for white blood cell counts ranges from about 4,000 to 10,000 cells per microliter. But don't remember this. Just know that if a patient presents with a high white blood cell count, you should suspect some sort of active infection or inflammatory process going on. However, if the white blood cell counts are low, it could mean that the patient is extra susceptible to future infections. There are other explanations, of course, but we're just going over the generalities here. Now, it's super important for us to remember that the white concrete ball is on your left side. Let me give you a memory peg for this. You see, the atlas ball is in He-Man's right hand. Like most people, He-Man is right-handed, and he needs to use his dominant right hand to perform in this competition. And because we're facing him, the white blood cell count must be on the left side of this cross. Got that? Let's move on. Take a look at what He-Man has done. He's knocked over some plates on the other side. Yeah, these plates are on the table because you're supposed to put the ball on top of these plates. The stronger you are, the more gently you'll be able to place the ball on the plates so that they don't break. Or at least that's how I think strongman competitions work, right? I don't know. I guess this task was just too much for He-Man to handle. Yeah, that ball was so heavy that He-Man had to cheat, using his other hand to help balance himself. He wasn't being so careful here, and now the table is completely tipped, causing all these plates to crash into the ground. By the way, these plates are a symbol for platelets. Get it? Plates for platelets? And as you probably already know, platelets play an important role in blood clotting. We're not going to go into the specifics of coagulation here, but just remember that when a cut stops bleeding, it's because the platelets in your body are functioning normally. As an additional point, pay special attention to the placements of He-Man's plates on your right side. Yeah, these plates are falling right because He-Man was using his non-dominant hand, aka his left hand, to push down onto the table. 
And because we're facing him, this orientation should help you remember that platelets are found on the right side of this cross diagram. Makes sense, right? Finally, take a look at those big squishy looking critters on the ground. Where else would you see critters? Of course they live inside the ground. Anyways, these critters are here to help you pick the term hematocrit. Get it? Critters for hematocrit? You may also remember them as hematocritters. Hematocrit is the proportion of red blood cells inside the plasma. That is, a percentage of how much volume red blood cells take relative to the total blood volume. Generally speaking, hematocrit is pretty similar to hemoglobin in terms of utility. And normally, there's a linear relationship between hematocrit and hemoglobin, with hematocrit levels being roughly equivalent about three times that of hemoglobin. Both values are generally measured to monitor changes in red blood cell counts. And naturally, our critters are on the ground beneath He-Man. Because we're at an outdoor competition, bugs like these critters are always on the ground. This should help you remember that hematocrit is written at the bottom of our cross schematic. And there we have it, an explanation of the shorthand cross diagrams for CBCs. He-Man's looking pretty tired now, so let's do a quick recap so you can catch a break. The complete blood count, or CBC, is a panel of four laboratory values commonly measured in patients to monitor their overall health and cell counts. The first thing you'll see when you order a CBC are two lines crisscrossed across each other, literally in the shape of a cross. And between these two lines, you'll see four different numerical values. Their place as follows. White blood cell counts go on the left, hemoglobin goes on top, platelet counts are found on the right, and hematocrit is found on the bottom. And that's it for our video on CBCs. In time, you'll get so familiar with the shorthand used to write CBCs that all this will seem like second nature. In the meantime, I hope this mnemonic was helpful. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also support our team by visiting pixarize.com, where you'll find exclusive videos and interactive review images. If you like what we're doing, share with your friends on social media, and we'll keep making great content like this. We'll see you next time.